The best of the best in the fishing world are right here in green country. 41 professional anglers all hoping to win big. Today was the first day of the 2022 Major League Fishing Red Crest Championship. The top anglers cast their lines all over Grand Lake, hoping to catch the $300,000 prize. These fishermen have had their hooks in the water all over the nation to earn a spot in this final competition of the season. Here's a look at today's leaderboard. Talala's own Edwin Evers in first place with over 39 pounds. Zach Burge of Blanchard, he's in 11th, and Tulsa's own James Elam is in 23rd. And while anglers are on the water at Grand Lake, fans of outdoor activities can take part in all the fun in Tulsa beginning Friday. Two News Oklahoma's Shay Smith is at Tulsa's Expo Square with how this weekend's outdoor sports expo is going to impact the city of Tulsa. Shay? In just a few days, people will pour into the Sage Net Center at the Expo Square for the Outdoor Sports Expo. Now, the Red Crest Tournament is bringing thousands of people to Tulsa, which means a lot of revenue for local businesses. The Vice President of Strategic Planning for Major League Fishing says this weekend Red Crest is celebrating everything the outdoors has to offer. We are showing all the new gear, boats, tackle, uh, rods and reels, uh, gear for the outdoors, camping, hunting, fishing. It's, it's going to be a great weekend. Vendors from all over the country are here for the Red Crest Bass Pro Tour Championship. Starting Friday at 10 a.m., booths in the SageNet Center will be open with dozens of exhibits to browse. Malone says just between vendors and staff alone, Redcrest is bringing in thousands of people, not including fans. For our first event, we're filling an 11-acre complex in Expo Square. This is a huge building. We filled it up, and we're going to do a lot of surveys and put some numbers together, but we're estimating at least 6,000 hotel rooms by the number of exhibitors that have signed up, over 130 exhibitors, the anglers, the, uh, over 50 working media that are going to be here, the sponsors, uh, and of course fans are going to come in from all over the area. Malone says Red Crest is more than an expo. He says it's three events in one. Not only can fans look through the exhibits, they can watch MLF Now live on stage and watch the stream as anglers fish on Grand Lake. Malone says MLF will also highlight and promote the city of Tulsa throughout the broadcast. We're also going to use our TV program to highlight the destination and show different beauty, beauty shots around town. So we'll go to we'll go to uh, the Gathering Place in downtown and. Guthrie Green and really just show all the great things around there. Malone says Tulsa hosting big sporting events like this is important for the city because it puts Tulsa on the map and people spend their money at area businesses. To come to our hometown to have our first event be this big and this grand and and join other sports like BMX and the and uh, Ironman and the, the PGA Championship it shows what Tulsa does and what can offer and I'm sure more sports are going to come in the future. Now, what you're looking at right now is the set for the MLF Now live stream. You can watch the broadcasters during the show right here on this stage. So you'll be able to watch the production of the show along with what's happening out on Grand Lake because they will air the show throughout the Expo Center. Now, doors to the Expo open up at 10 a.m. Friday through Sunday, and they close at 7 throughout the entire weekend. There will be several different giveaways, some of them including a flat screen TV, and Visa gift cards and one lucky winner will drive off in a 2022 Toyota Tundra. Now, I just want to say that I have walked around and looked at some of these boot booths. If you're in the need of a boat, they have plenty of them or any cool rain gear, hunting gear, fishing gear, rods, reels, bait, all of that. Anything you could want that has anything to do with outdoors, they have it here. So live in Tulsa, Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.